Kim, I want to thank you for uh, for doing this. Take the time out of your busy days to come down and talk about what's happened since uh, a little bit less than two years ago. It was April 18th, 2009, uh, when you came in uh, because we knew you were having some difficulties because we were, we were taking care of one of your children. And something happened in our office in South Hills that was really unique. When you think back on it, what happened that day? You'd had a head injury yeah. on Christmas Eve uh, four months before. Mm -hmm. And you were suffering some pretty dramatic kinds of issues. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what were those like? I was, um, well, my balance was really off and I couldn't handle any light without wearing sunglasses. Like even in the, um, in the house I had to wear sunglasses and I had a lot of headaches, and um, sound was difficult for me, like I couldn't um, handle, you know, uh, too much sound, and then also, I wasn't able to drive, I wasn't able to do pretty much anything except, um, you know, go to, go to therapy and, and um, you know, do my PT and, and my speech and all that. And then when I came to your office, after you um, examined me and then you put the prisms on, I was, I was like immediately, um, like I was able to relax. Like I felt like I could just breathe. Like I could stand there, okay, when take my sunglasses off and, and like everything felt like it was normal. How normal? Uh, um, we're, we're using a, a, a pain scale of 0 to 10 now. And uh, what was your life like? Where were you living? Were you at, at a, a, a 5 or 6? Or were you above a 5 or 6? Below a 5 or 6? Uh, the midpoint? Um, without the prisms? And what did uh, the prisms do? Uh, without, it was... I didn't know it was not, it was probably, I'd say, like around a mm, three, four, I felt like. I wasn't really, I didn't do well at all. No, no then, well, now the question would be, pain, how painful was it? Pain would be a high scale, a number. Oh. Okay. And then no pain, uh, no difficulty whatsoever would be a zero. Okay. Yeah, so we're using the reverse. Oh, number. okay, okay, sorry. Yeah. Now then it, then it would be more like a seven, eight. Seven to eight, mm -hmm. that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Um, and um, and then you put the prisms on. What did it change? Oh, how, how did it change? It just it to changed a, dramatically. To what number? To I guess like a zero one. Really? Mm -hmm. That much? Was I the mean, change gradual? Was it immediate? It was. It was immediate. Okay. Like when I was standing, I was able to. Now you were doing some physical therapy before then. What were you doing uh, to that point? Outside uh, of physical therapy. In, in in physical therapy up at uh, Health South. Oh yeah, I was um. Just doing my. I had to have my sunglasses on, like when I was oh, there. Okay. You know, when like when I was in um, physical therapy in the building, I needed to have those on, and um. And I struggled back and forth with balance, mm -hmm. and then um, after I had the prism lenses, and I went back to. Um, physical therapy right after that they my therapists were amazed to see the difference too because I could walk through um, the gym without my lenses as long as I had my prism lenses on I was I was much much better and it changed my balance and and it you know it, it was amazing were you on any medications at the time the only thing was um any Tylenol for stuff like for headaches and pain that was pretty much what I did yeah but nobody tried to put you on any of the uh, uh, dopamine agonists or mm -hmm. uh, uh, the uh, uh, psychotropic drugs or no. anything like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what surprised you most? Well, I, I was amazed at, at how 
quick that happened, like the, the, the change of just having this lens in front of my eyes, the, the prism, so how that just totally, it just felt like it relaxed my whole mm -hmm. body. So that, was it a matter of, it, with the, uh, the lenses are on, you're fine, lenses are off, your problems are back immediately? When, when the lenses were off, it wasn't, at that time, it wasn't, yeah, it was, it wasn't good. It's like when I had my lenses on, I was able to function. Without them, I... Well, at, I the, time, at, at the time we started, we were just, uh, you know, uh, working, uh, uh, just, you were the first patient that I'd had. And uh, then I began, uh, after what, after our experience with you, we began looking at the literature and began uh, talking with people who knew more about this, the physiatrists and the, and the neurologists and the neuropsychologists. Mm -hmm. um, actually, some of the PT staff was very, very helpful for, in my early education on this, this matter. Mm -hmm. But one of the things, we, we had, were using a 13-point uh, symptom scale then on you, and we now have increased it to 25. Uh, there are some other signs that are found in another variant of this called post-trauma uh, visual syndrome. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, out of the 13 symptoms that you were, that you had, uh, we had, were asked you about, you had all 13 sympt of the 13 symptoms, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and all 13 of them were above the median point, above the halfway point. Mm -hmm. We seem to be finding that the change in the um, uh, the number of symptoms that drop below to the median or below. Mm -hmm seems to be the best indicator of what kind of uh, satisfaction, what kind of solution, what kind of healing, if you wish, you know, a resolution of your symptoms, that's better, mm -hmm. um, would occur. And so you were running uh, uh, actually above an 8 <laughs> at that point. You were running actually closer to a 9 mm -hmm. on, on the scale at that point. The severity of the symptoms, mm -hmm. okay, um, and uh, that had dropped by the time I saw you again uh, in August, four months later, uh, to only one symptom was above the median, and now your pain scale was down to a, about a three, mm -hmm. okay, on a, mm -hmm. on the scale. Yeah. We uh, checked you again. I called you. Um, in, uh, um, I would guess it would have been right before I, I went out to California. And so it would have been like uh, January, February of 2010. Mm -hmm. I don't, didn't mark the date, I'll have to mark that in here. Um, and you had none of your symptoms were above the median point now. And the average was a one to a two. Mm -hmm. Okay, are, are you still there? Is it, would, would you, I, I am, the only thing that I can um, say that I still, you know, my mom notices and that I notice and other people that know me really well are, is just um, things that don't have to do with the lenses, like improving my balance or improving my ability to handle light and sound. and um, But it's just like short-term short, short -term memory is, yeah. is an issue still for me. And... Um, and then fatigue, like around a certain time of the, like around 7, 730 in the evening. Um, but I notice that when I wear my, my glasses, Mom will say she can notice, she says, get your glasses on because I can tell like your focus, your, your um, you know, you're just off. And when I put them on, it's like I have an immediate response and it's, I always just like feel like I just, my, I exhale, like I'm just able to relax. Well, and that was one of the me. visible things that, that both Denise and I saw mm -hmm. at, in the office mm -hmm. is that when you put the lenses on, your body melted. Mm -hmm. your, your, I the tension, that. Yes. the tension just was absolutely mm -hmm. visibly leaving your body. You just, mm -hmm. your whole body posture just came down mm -hmm. instead of being up and, and, and electric. Right, right, and that still has that effect on me if I don't. If I go through most of my day without them, mm -hmm. like say today, and I don't have them on, 
when I start to feel that way more so and I put them on. Since yeah, that point, it's been my impression when I talked to you at Christmas after that, mm -hmm. that your using the lenses has been more intermittent. Right. How do you use the lenses these days? Since in the in the year now, a little yes. bit more than a year since mm -hmm. since I've talked to you about that. Yes. If I if I know that I'm going somewhere where it's gonna be more crowded, more you know, more um, sensory, you know, possibility of things being louder, more crowded, more more lights. This is where I have a feeling it might be a stressor on my system and overload, then I wear the glasses. Um, and also when I'm at home, whenever I get to a point where I just, f I feel like I'm getting too tired, my focus isn't right, and my, my thinking isn't as clear, then I put them on. From, from Kim before the accident to Kim after the accident, but before the, uh, the, the prisms, what changes, how would you describe to me, what adjectives would you use to describe the changes that had occurred in you uh, outside of the pain of the headaches? Yeah. What, what words would you, would you, would... Like before the accident, like yeah, how yeah. I was compared to yeah, like after? Yeah, right after the accident. Um, and in the, in the four months. Yeah, well, before, before the accident I was, um, I, I didn't forget, typically I didn't forget anything. I had a really good memory. Um, like, almost like, I don't know if you want to say photogenic or something like that, but it was really good and I never had any problems. Um, my, my focus and concentration was very good, so I never had any issues with that. Headaches, mm, just like anybody else, maybe here and there, you know. Um, and then, um, but then after that, that's when... I noticed things like um, after like going through therapy and when I started to be able to like work in the kitchen again, for example, mm. in my, at, at home, I would I would leave the um, burner on on the stove mm. and I would never that was never something that Kim before would have done, mm. and um, or you know even like things like forgetting to close the refrigerator door and then going into another room and coming out like later and realizing oh. Well, why is that still open, you know, and then I have to close it. Or um, keeping the door open. This happened twice all night at the house. What about and the, the light sensitivity and, 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 the, and, and the sounds and the, and the touch and the smells and the taste? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, before that, it was, I was just like normal, you know, mm. nothing, nothing out of the ordinary with that. And then after, after the accident happened, though, I my I was really sensitive to smell. You know, things really bothered me. I could smell. It was very acute sense of smell mm -hmm. then. And then, um, and and light, of course, was a huge thing that I had to wear sunglasses in the house. And even at night, if um, my mom had taken me out after therapy or on the way back, I'd have to have sunglasses on because of the lights from the other cars. Mm -hmm. um, so so that was something that never was me before. And. Um, and sound too was never a big deal, you know. I could, you know, blast the radio with the best of them, but <laughs> you know. And then after that, no, that wasn't. We were all known to crank radios at yeah. times. <laughs> yeah. And then the accidents. And then and then I after don't. that, yeah, after that, all of a sudden, you know, it's like um, my my sense of smell was really heightened. And, um, I couldn't handle like strong sense of of perfume or um, any any odors sometimes those things would make me nauseous and um, and how about food taste and textures did that change um, I don't remember that really changing no uh -uh. so what are adjectives uh, would you use would uh, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth but you know, what was your mood like from from before the accident to after the accident? Mm. Yeah, Bef um, well, I, I go by some of what my family tells me from the change they could see in that too is, is one of the best things because it's kind of hard for me. But I know before I was, you know, 
really even, pretty much even keeled mm -hmm. patient, you know. And, um, how are you on the irritability scale? But then, yeah, after that, then after the accident, before the prisms, I was, yeah, highly irritable and highly um, defensive, if you want to say that, mm -hmm. to, um, to touch and then even to, you know, in my understanding of my perception of what was being said, you know, kind of thing. And Emotionally, how were you? Were you stable before the accident? Yeah, I, I mean, I, yeah, I would say I was. And yeah. after the accident? And after, well, my emotions were all over the place more. I mean, I would, I'd cry a lot easier. And, um, and then I seemed to be, like, more, um, more sensitive. Some, something changed in me there, almost, like. A hypersensitivity? Yeah, maybe, maybe you could say that, I guess, okay. you know. I mean, I was like, um... Again, I don't want to put words in your mouth. Right, you know. right. Um, and, um, sleep uh, disturbance, was, it was, that never bothered you that much, did it? Or you, you, you were running about a mid, midpoint, about the middle level, about mm -hmm. a five. Before? The, Before the accident. Yeah. Well, no, no, after the accident. After, yeah. And, well, I slept a lot initially after, because I was Good, really yeah. tired, you know, and that, and, um... But then after, like now, one of the things that I that I still have is sometimes it's hard for me to um, go go to sleep like initially, and then once I go to sleep, I might wake up like a couple hours later. So I seem to have like more restless sleep than I did before mm -hmm. that ever happened. Now this, this thus far we've been we're into this about, I guess about ten minutes or so, um, and you've not had your glasses on. Mm -hmm. um, do you find it uh, you're able to go longer periods of time without the glasses? I am. Yeah, although I do know this, and my um, people close to me say this, why don't you wear them all the time? Because you can see a difference when, when I wear them. And I can even feel a difference, but quite honestly, you know why I don't? It's just because sometimes the glasses feel too heavy on my, the bridge of my nose, and when they do, I take them off. Okay. You know? Would you uh, put them on now and tell me... What happens? What changes when you put those on? Yeah. Lovely. Mm -hmm. I just, I just every time I put them on, I get that exhale. Really? Mm -hmm. To this day, yeah. It just really it just calms my system, and that's why. Give me some adjectives. How, how how do your feelings change? How does things feel? It just it just gives you an gives me an overall sensation of being just more calm, mm -hmm. more relaxed, mm -hmm. more focused. Let me ask you. I'm going to ask a leading question here. Mm -hmm. Does it change your color perception any when you put the glasses on? Like for instance, I've got. You know, a, a, mm -hmm. a, a dark blue shirt uh, and, and with a, with a multi-colored blue tie, which is interesting. We also have a pink card here. Mm -hmm. So lifting the glasses up and putting them down, does it change the, your color perception? Or is it just clearer? Mm -hmm. I don't really see a change there. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, um... One of the things that bothered you uh, was this chart. I'm going to ask you to take the glasses off. Just hold on to them. But okay. Take them off for a second. And this chart was bothering you uh, the, the, a lot the mm -hmm. first time you saw it. Mm -hmm. and you had a number of illusions, a number of mirages occurred. Would, could you hold that for a second? Mm -hmm. um, is that b troubling you now? Yeah, I mean, th that's one thing that still bothers me. Like things that are... Like that. Patterned? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pattern. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, are you getting, uh, in this pattern, in the white spaces in between the black lines, mm -hmm. are you getting any um, any uh, illusions in there? Any colors of any sort? No, is no there, colors. Is the, uh, uh, the, the lines, the, the blackness of the lines, does it look solid? Does it look jittery? Is there movement? What... Um, what are you seeing? I just I see the I see the black lines, but it just it's just hard to look at. Okay, put the glasses on, please. 
and see if there's a change. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it doesn't bother me to look at it all now. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, the pictures, as you will see, are worth a thousand words. Um, you were obviously troubled uh, by looking at that, but uh, yeah, that doesn't it, it's a, it doesn't now. affect everybody the same way. Mm -hmm. And there's a uh, a physiatrist I've been told about. His name is Dr. Uh, Larry Horn, and he was a physiatrist out in Philadelphia uh, mm -hmm. in the uh, 90s. And he's moved on since then, but he was quoted to me as say, having said that every head injured patient is their own case study mm -hmm. and their own case series. You cannot generalize from one to another. Mm -hmm. And that's about the way it's going right now, is that each of you people has unique symptoms mm -hmm. and unique problems, and they must be solved uniquely. Um, uh, insurance companies and the system doesn't, uh, the medical system doesn't like that so much, mm -hmm. uh, where you're going to have to make special allowances for people like you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm, is there anything that, that I'm not touching on that you thought was important that you wanted to bring out, that you wanted to say? I'm going to close off with uh, the ultimate question, mm -hmm. which is you know, how much change do we need to say, how much has your problem been resolved? But um, uh, is there anything that you uh, thought that you wanted to ask about? You knew we were going to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, that you wanted to make a point of it that we haven't touched on yet? I can't Thank think you. of anything. Mm -mm. Then let me ask the bottom line question. On a, uh, on a scale of one to ten, zero to ten, where zero is no problem at all, and mm -hmm. ten was uh, your old problem the way it was, how much of your problem is resolved? Uh, what, are we, are we a, above a five or below a five? Above. In, in improvement? Improvement. Well, that means it would be below, because zero would be no problem. Oh, You're right, doing right. it again. Sorry, <laughs> <sorry. laughs> Ten is the okay. maximum pain. Oh, okay, okay. right, right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so now I would say with some of the residual things that I discussed before, yeah, sure, yeah. I mean, all that considered, I would definitely say between two and three. Okay, so we've got uh, up, upwards uh, of three quarters of your problem yes. resolved. Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Kim, I want to thank you for coming in. Thank you for this. Um.